How's it going everyone? Welcome back. The 2023 draft season has officially come to a conclusion here. The Cincinnati Bengals uh, shocked a lot of us to say the very least, I think. If you're playing the mock draft game, a lot of people say, well, mock drafts are just entertainment. It is what it is. Uh, because, you know, a lot of mock drafts are saying Bengals are going to go offensive tackle or Bengals are going to go tight end in the first round. If they don't get one in the first round, they're going to get one in the second round. If they don't get one in the second round, the third round for sure. We're not going to wait any longer than that. And the Bengals said, hold on a second. Hold up. How, how would you feel if we said we're not going to get a tackle in the first round? We're not going to get a tackle in the second round. We're not going to get a tackle, period. And we're not going to get a tight end either. We don't care what you guys think this team's needs are. The Bengals do just that. And they were tried and true to what they said about, hey, we're going to go best possible available in this draft. We're not going to reach for a player. You got the 28 in a draft. Um, I don't know if you would have called Michael Mayer a reach, obviously. They just felt like they didn't need the tight end position that badly. Uh, they might have been reaching for an offensive tackle at that point, though. They was worried about that. We've seen DeJuan Jones slip all the way to the third round. I, I was wondering. I... The value there, if the Bengals would have went that direction, they chose not to. And for their own reasons, they're saying, hey, we got Carmen. Uh, Williams are hoping to come around. They'll battle it out. Leo Collins is looking good in rehab. If Collins can come back quickly, those guys just need to bridge the gap for a couple games. Uh, probably a lot more. But if we was optimistic, you know, let's say four or five games. It might be closer to seven, eight. Who knows how long it'll really be. Nonetheless, the Bengals coming up with the rationale. They got Irv Smith, uh, Irv Smith over that tight end. that He can replace... A lot of those snaps and targets that Hayden Hurst had last season will be all right. Let's go out there and attack the defense. We lost Jesse Bates. We lost Von Bell. Uh, DJ Reader's contract's coming up. Uh, you want some guys that can pass rush in this league. So the Bengals say, let's get us a pass rusher in the first round. And I say, I love it. Big win there. You're going to go up against the Patty Mahomes, the Josh Allen, the Justin Herberts, the Lamar Jackson. You're going to go up against these guys day in and day out. And the Bengals defense, somehow miraculous. It blows my mind to this day how they were sitting there not putting any pressure on the quarterback and finding ways to stop teams and finding ways to put their team in a position to win. Again, a lot of credit to this team's discipline, a lot of credit to the coaching staff. But to think if you could put a pass rush on this defense the way they've played, they take a step up. They play even better than what they have been playing. And this Bengals defense has a chance to be a top five defense in the league. And they have a chance to be dominant. The pass rush is such a game changer. And you bring that on over here. Another pass rusher. Now you got two on the defensive line. I thought that was a massive pickup there. You get DJ Turner again. A quick, a versatile, a guy that he looks, he looks really good. In the secondary. You go with another secondary. Uh, you go to an Alabama veteran Jordan battle in the secondary. You think this guy's going to plug and play in this safety lineup and do well? Cause I sure as heck do. I think this is a guy that's NFL ready. He's got a lot of discipline. When you sit in there and play under Nick Saban for that many years under that defense, this guy's going to be ready to ball. You go after a, what people want to call a Cooper cup junior. Um, I don't want to call him Cooper cup. Nothing. This is his own. He's his own guy. We're talking about Charlie jones a guy that was he was impressive a really good wide receiver if it wasn't for the fact that he was just completely off the map for the last few seasons this was just a one year a one year thing a little bit older i i, I don't imagine him going this late in the draft i think he's gonna be a stud i think that was a massive pickup you go late in this draft and say let's pick up a guy that can potentially replace tyler boyd or who knows what happens with one of these other receivers. If we feel confident about this guy being able to put up some numbers and play. And until he can fill into this lineup, he can be a punt returner, or a kick returner for this football team. Big win. You get the running back. Just what you needed. Again, you weren't looking for that three down back. You weren't looking to reach for a guy in the first round. You weren't looking to do what the Detroit Lions did. The Detroit Lions do stuff like that. And that's why they are not a winning football team. Because they reach for triple running backs when they have running backs. When they could have went in different directions. But they feel so confident in that running back. They had to have him. But. You got to complete your football team. And I think the Bengals did that by saying, let's not reach for a running back. Let's not reach for a tackle. Let's not reach for a tight end. Let's find positions that can help elevate our game and make us a Super Bowl contender. And let's find guys that are specializers in certain areas, role players in certain areas. And that's what I thought Chase Brown was. This is a mean running back. that can, He's explosive. He's speedy. He's got a very strong leg or very strong lower half that can just run through teams. And he's been consistent. 
And I just, I love the feistiness of this guy as a running back. I love the way he can play out of the shotgun. I think there's a role for this guy in his team. Is he a three down back? I don't think he's proven that. But I definitely think this is a guy that could see a, you know, a, a 30 to 50% snap share kind of role on this team and make a big impact. And you go out there and get a punter who drafts punters and get them in free agency. Uh, you draft punters when you feel really good about this guy being a good punter. Robbins looks like he's going to be a really good punter. And uh, we did see the punting woes a little bit last year. You know, there's a lot of talk. It's like, well, where would the Bengals been if they could have just got that punt a little bit further in that AFC championship game or a little bit further in this game. And it's a big deal. He's going to battle it out. And we all want to see Chrisman do good. I think a lot of us Ohio State fans as well as Bengals fans, you want to see this guy, you want to see this guy do good and flourish, but somebody's going to come in here and you can change the game with a punt. We don't talk about it enough, and there's a reason to get paid a lot. There's a big difference in pinning a guy or a team inside the 10 or giving the ball at the 25 or shanking one out of bounds at the 30 when there's 37 seconds left in a football game and so forth. So I love what the Bengals did in this draft. Again, I think I would have felt better if they would have. I, I wasn't as worried about tight end. I would have felt better, though, if they would have gotten a tackle. But at the same time, why reach for a tackle in the second round or a third round in a draft you don't feel like is very deep a tackle? Why reach for one? In hope he turns out, and hope he's a project and a backup player. If you feel confident that you can draft a cornerback that's going to be a starter on this team, or he's going to roll on this team, or if you can draft the safety, he feels like a future starter on this team. You feel really good about it, opposed to a potential project tackle. You go after what's the best possible available in those situations, and you figure it out. I just that's it. That's my one concern. Is you want to you do. It's really hard to exit a draft. you got to trust this Bengals organization at this point. We're seeing now they've been in the AFC Championship Game Super Bowl the last two seasons. It's really hard to exit a draft not attacking the offensive line. But it is also an offensive line. I just got a big free agent signing. It was starting to play very good football halfway through the season before the injuries last season. If you just, again, they shore up the right tackle position, it'll be all right. I love what they did in this draft. Uh, we're going to give them an A-. I think an A- is just a friendly here. Love you guys' thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.